Though the Australian would start the final day with a four-stroke advantage, he knew he could anticipate a tight struggle with his only likely challenger, Rory McIlroy. You know, it's been an amazing way to cap off a year, but I've got to just think about the round today. The world's second and sixth ranked players were in a tug of war for Royal Sydney supremacy. The gap shrunk to three at the first as Scott took bogey. The Australian PGA and Masters champion was playing steadily, but couldn't shake off the two-time major winner. No one emerged from the trailing pack. John Sendon, six under 66, gave him outright third. Going well today. The battle was well behind him. The Northern Irishman set up an eagle at the par five seventh for a two-shot swing. And this is right on the flag. At the eighth, McElroy sunk his clutch birdie putt. Yeah, he does. Scott missed his, and they were level. Their equal status lasted just one hole as Scott birdied the ninth. He had chances to build on his one-shot lead during the next eight holes. McElroy made a pressure putt at the 17th. Then at the 18th, he struck the perfect approach. Twice, the Australian overshot the hole. Leaving McElroy this putt to stun the big gallery. I'm very happy and you know Adam should be you know very proud of himself. He you know he's a credit to the game and he, he's also a credit to this country. The victory was McElroy's first in 2013 and ended for now Scott's chance of holding Australia's big three titles simultaneously. John Haysbell, ABC News, Sydney.